Okay, folks, we're going to be uh, installing now the PrinterBot simple metal uh, configuration file from the PrinterBot.com website. It's actually pretty pretty easy to uh, to install here, so but I'm we're going to walk you through it here. So if you just go to PrinterBot.com, uh, today is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! And you go to support. Uh, it should bring up some printers here. So we're going to get started with our PrinterBot simple metal. It's a wonderful little printer. Uh, and we are going to get the installation files here. Uh, now, this presumes that you already have Repetier Host installed. Um, so I'm going to download this simple settings config file. Okay, so I'll just save that in my downloads. Okay, very good. And then we can follow these um, instructions for loading the config file. Pretty handy, right? So let me just go here, show in Finder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip this zip file here. But my guess is that we open up Repetier Host, we go to Configure, and we um, see what it says, go to File, Load Config, right? So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's open up Repetier Host. Okay, yep, that's fine. And that uh, the program had been downloaded online. It's not verified by Apple, so they get all worried about it. They're trying to protect your computer. Uh, sure, check automatically. For updates, we just downloaded it, so it should be good to go. So we're going to go to Slicer as per the instructions, Configure. So this usually takes a second to open up. Um, you know, we can go through this uh, Configuration Assistant. You just hit Next. Uh, this is a Marlin RepRap um, 3D printing configuration style for, you know, the PrinterBot Simple. We know the bed size is actually um, less than this. Uh, it's about 150 by 150, but I'm pretty sure the, the slicing stuff will allow us to take care of this. Half a millimeter in diameter, the filament size is 1.75. Um, other layers, this is fine. You might tweak this later. Uh, rule of thumb for PLA, we're not going to have a bed temperature. Um, uh, just, yeah, they're not saying anything about a, um, a default if you don't have a heated bed. Congratulations, you've successfully completed the slicer configuration. So. Great, I'm just going to hit save here, and I'm going to save as a default, because we're actually going to be installing something else here. But I'm just going to save all these things as default. This is what's coming from the, um, the, the initial sort of setup of uh, any sort of printer here on our, um, on our Repetier. So I'm going to close out of this now. We go back to those instructions because it wasn't that clear in terms of where you go. Op uh, open, connect your bot, and select Sicer, then select Configure. Go to File, then go to Load Config. So let's try that again. So we go to Slicer, let's go to Config, and up here is probably Load. So it's not obvious, right? If you're looking here at this little window, you're thinking, oh, where's my Load Config here? If you're on a Mac, this is kind of hidden up here. So we go to load config, and I'm going to go to my downloads, and I'm going to go to simple metal config INI open. Okay, so looks like it has a printer setting. It has all this stuff for me. So I'm going to go ahead, okay, close. Now you're not done yet, right? You got to select that stuff. So let's just go ahead and put it in an object here. Add an STL file. I think I have some on my desktop. Sample 3D prints. Perfect. This is the wobbly keychain wedge. Um, anybody that knows me knows that this is something I use all the time to prevent um, prevent beers and coffee from spilling on wobbly tables at different uh, bars and coffee shops. So there we go. Slicer. Configure. Oh, not configure. Sorry. Close out of there. Now we have to select. Oh, look at that. So there's no, so it clearly didn't load our, um, that's interesting, it didn't load our, so let's see, looks like it's saying select the config print settings, save the profile while clicking on the disk icon, click OK to finalize, and then repeat this process for the printer settings and filament settings. Okay, so looks like what we have to do is actually do it for every single setting. So I'm going to go back config, right? So going back here, configure. So 
just like we did before. So load config. We're going to go back to downloads. Select the simple metal config.ini. Okay, so, so now you actually have to save it, right? So simple metal config, there we go. Filaments, save, great. Printer settings, save, right? So now it's all saved and loaded up. Now we can select it here. So simple metal config, simple metal config, simple metal config. You still are going to have to go into printer settings, which I don't think they described in that setup, but uh, I'm going to add a uh, printer bot simple metal, create. And if we go over here, leaving all that stuff the same, I always disable the motors after job kill. That way I can move the, the gantry out of the way to get my part off the table. Uh, dimensions here, my max dimensions are about 150 millimeters. Uh, you could do the exact calculation. It's a six inch by six inch by six inch, which is roughly 306 millimeters, I think. So it should be about 152 or 153 or something like that, right? Uh, but I just do 150 to be safe. Uh, print area width 150, 150, and I'm just going to do 150 on the height. Apply, and then advanced. We don't need any of that. Okay. So now when we have our object placement, we're going to want to center that guy up. Slicer, we can just slice it using these uh, settings here. See what happens. Slicing, slicing, slicing. And once it's all done, we should be able to connect this to our 3D printer and start printing. So we'll cover the, the printing components and some of the tips and tricks in, uh, in the next video. So thank you for watching.